Poodles are incredibly intelligent dogs, second only to Border Collies. Their high intelligence means they are relatively easy to train. Using proper training techniques, they can learn new commands in less than five repetitions. The American Kennel Club recognizes three sizes of poodle, and all three of them have almost the same temperaments and training methods. The basic obedience training is crucial for better communication with the puppy. This is the first thing your poodle needs to learn. There are basic commands that must be learned before a puppy can move towards getting advanced training. Your poodle should be able to recognize her name and respond to that when called. Give your puppy a lovely name and then teach it to her. Puppies need to hear their name several times before they recognize it. Sit is the first command your puppy needs to learn. This is a simple and easy to learn command. It is a prerequisite command and is used while teaching other commands to your puppy. Some of the other basic obedience commands are come, stay, stand, drop it, etc. Start as soon as possible when the puppy is around eight weeks old. The initial phase of training could be challenging. A puppy is like a toddler. She doesn't understand which behaviors are acceptable and which aren't. She needs time to understand commands, and because of this, you should not expect quick results. However, poodles are smart dogs, and they will surprise you with the results. Make sure your commands are clear and consistent. Using hand gestures along with the verbal commands can help your puppy understand them more easily. Food is a big motivator for puppies, and positive reinforcement will accelerate the training process. Start house training your puppy when she is about eight weeks old. Take advantage of their developing brain and start teaching them from day one. The earlier you start, the easier it will be for them to learn. An early start is crucial before your puppy learns any undesirable behaviors. Designate a specific spot for the bathroom. This could be a spot in your backyard or garden. Make sure it is a quiet and out of the way location where the puppy won't be disturbed while doing her business. Your poodle will be using this spot for the whole year, so make sure it is suitable for all weather and properly covered from sun, rain, and snow. Use the same spot consistently and don't change it, otherwise your puppy will get confused. A potty schedule is very convenient for both the owner and the puppy. Make a schedule for taking your puppy outdoors at the same time every day, and this will help establish a potty routine. Like other daily routines, your puppy will soon get used to it. This lowers the chances of elimination inside the house. Feed your puppy at the same time every day and they will soon develop a consistent potty schedule. There are certain times of the day when your puppy needs to go for a potty. When he wakes up in the morning, 15 minutes after a meal, after a walk or exercise, after a nap, before going to bed. Poodles are smart dogs and most of the time, they will show some obvious signs and body gestures when they have an urge for elimination. Whenever you notice these signs, take them to the designated potty spot for elimination. Some of the obvious signs are walking in circles, scratching the door, whining or barking, restlessness and squatting, staring at you and the door. Accidents are inevitable in the beginning of the training process. It's because puppies need some time to get used to the designated spot. Moreover, they have a loose control over their bladders, which means there may be some accidents because of their inability to control their bladders. So in the beginning, be mentally prepared for potty accidents and deal with them carefully. When you see your puppy eliminating inside, disturb the process and take her to the designated potty spot. Don't punish or yell at your puppy, as that would scare her and she will be reluctant to eliminate when you are around. It's recommended to clean the spot thoroughly and make sure no trace of smell is left. If a puppy can smell the old spot, she will feel compelled to use it again. Regular cleaner will remove the stain, but not the odor and enzymes. You need to use an enzymatic cleaner to eliminate any trace of odor. The use of potty pads is a personal choice and it depends upon your living conditions. Potty pads could be an option if you live in an apartment. It is a better option if you live in a cold climate or if it rains a lot. However, potty pads generally work for mini or toy poodles. Puppies have small bladders and they don't have full control over their bladders. It takes at least 12 to 16 weeks for a puppy to develop control over its bladder. 
According to the Humane Society of the United States, a puppy can control their bladder one hour for every month of age. So if your puppy is two months old, they can hold it for about two hours. This month to hour ratio varies with size. Toy poodles can hold it for a shorter period of time than mini and standard poodles. Puppies should not be forced to hold their bladders for a long period of time, as that could cause bladder infections. Using crates is an effective way for potty training a poodle. The concept behind using a crate as a tool is that dogs are clean animals, and they are unlikely to mess around the place where they sleep, and this prompts them to go outside for potty. Dogs consider the crate as a den and they love to keep their den clean, which means they would prefer to go outside for potty. Using a crate is a fast way to teach your puppy that she has to go to the designated bathroom area. Choose a specific command for the bathroom. Poodles are smart dogs, and they will soon associate the command with an action. The command could be something like go potty, do business, etc. Use the same command for house training, and don't change it. Poodles are smart dogs, and house training them is easier than with many other breeds. However, the time duration for potty training could vary depending upon the individual dog. Some poodles learn it in a few weeks, while others take a few months, but you will see the progress throughout the process. The owner's commitment also makes a difference. Be consistent in the training process, as it is totally worth the effort to have a fully house-trained poodle. According to the American Kennel Club, a crate is a potty training tool, and it makes their life easier. Dogs are naturally den animals and most enjoy being in small, enclosed places. A crate provides them with a feeling of security. According to the Humane Society of the United States, crate training your puppy takes advantage of the dog's natural instincts to seek out a comfortable, quiet, and safe place. Dogs are den animals, and they naturally seek out a private space of their own. Crate training may seem cruel, but if used correctly and humanely, it could become a beneficial tool for your poodle. It works equally for puppies, adults, and senior dogs. Dogs appreciate having a safe and secure place of their own. A crate could work as a place of comfort for them whenever they are tired, nervous, or alone. A crate can be used as an effective tool for potty training a poodle. Dogs are clean animals, and they don't urinate at the same place where they sleep, and this encourages them to go outside for potty. Crate training is also beneficial for the owner. A crate could be a place to leave your dog whenever you have to go outside for a short time. It prevents the dog from making a mess in the house. Crate training also allows you to travel comfortably with your dog. A crate-trained dog can be easily transported. The crate keeps him safe during travel. If you want your poodle to live happily inside the crate, you need to make it comfy and appealing to them. Fill the crate with his favorite treats and toys. You need soft and warm bedding inside the crate. Instead of a towel or blanket, use a dog's bed, which is soft, non-allergenic, and easily washable. In hot weather, install some cooling pads inside the crate. You could also put a recording device around the crate to keep an eye on the dog while you are away. Once you have made her bedroom a safe and cozy place, she would love spending time in it. Once you have decorated the crate, it's time to invite your puppy. Walk her over to the crate, talking in a pleasant and encouraging voice. Lure her inside the crate by dropping a series of treats outside and inside of the crate. When she enters inside, don't close the door immediately. Instead, give her enough time to explore the crate and become familiar with it. Once she is comfortable inside, close the door for a short time, but remain around the crate. You can leave after some time and your dog will whine or bark to get your attention. You don't need to respond to that, otherwise your puppy will always use whining as a way of getting out of the crate. Crying or whining is normal for puppies in the first few attempts of crate training. They want your attention and to get outside of the crate. You have to ignore that, otherwise they will make it a habit. Remove the collar or harness before placing her inside the crate because the dog will be unsupervised and a collar could strangle her if it gets caught in the crate. Do not push or force your dog inside as that will scare him. You need to build a positive image of the crate in their mind. And for that, it is very necessary that their first few experiences in the crate are positive. 
Placing the crate at the right spot matters a lot. Sometimes a dog does not hate the crate, but the area where it is placed. Dogs are social animals and they don't like to be left alone. Place the crate at such an area where your dog could feel the vibe of a household. It could be a place where your family spends a lot of time, such as the living room, home office, or some area close to the kitchen. In the beginning, place the crate in your bedroom or an area close to that. Make sure the crate is safe from direct sunlight and other weather conditions. Do not put the crate in dark and isolated places like the basement or backyard. However, it should not be in such a central location where there is constant noise and movement. That will be a reoccurring disturbance for your dog. Overcrating is certainly cruel and should be avoided at all costs. According to the Humane Society of the United States, puppies under six months of age shouldn't stay in a crate for more than three or four hours at a time. An eight to 10 week old puppy should be left in a crate for a maximum of 30 to 60 minutes. A crate is like a den or bedroom for your dog and they retreat back to their den for a certain time. Dogs need walks, exercise, and human interaction and they need to use their bedroom only for a certain time. Leaving them in a crate for an extended period of time, they will soon develop separation anxiety. If you are going away for a long time, you should hire a pet sitter or take them to a daycare center. A crate is supposed to be a place of comfort, not a place of confinement. You need to use it correctly and humanely. Poodles are highly active dogs and they should not be left in a crate for a long time. It is very helpful if you associate the action with a verbal command. The command could be something like a kennel, crate, etc. Use the same command every time and don't change it. Choosing a crate of the correct size is crucial. Choose a crate that is large enough for a poodle to stand up, turn around, and lie down easily. However, it should not be so large that they urinate in one corner of it and sleep in the other. Buy a crate that is appropriate for the current size of your puppy and when he is fully grown. The better option is to get a crate that comes with dividers, which will allow you to adjust the size of the crate according to the size of the poodle. Standard poodles will require a larger crate than mini or toy-sized poodles. There are several types of crate available in the market, each one with their own benefits. A wire-type crate is the best option for home usage. It has an excellent ventilation system and comes with dividers. It is durable, portable, and easily washable. Moreover, dogs cannot chew on them. Wooden crates are often used to match with the home furniture. However, a dog might chew on them. Plastic and fabric crates are lightweight and easily foldable. They are often used for traveling purposes and are approved by the airlines. However, both plastic and fabric crates are not good options for home usage because of their cleaning difficulty and chewable material. Most dogs are accepting of a crate if it is made an appealing and comfortable place for them. Crate training a dog can take anywhere from four to 16 weeks. There will be ups and downs in the training process, but you will see the progress. Poodles are very smart dogs and they are easily trainable, provided you do it in a proper way. Dr. Stanley Corin is a renowned canine psychologist. In his book, The Intelligence of Dogs, Corin has ranked poodles as the second smartest dog breed, only behind border collies. Their obedience and working intelligence is outstanding. They can learn a new command in less than five repetitions. Poodles are highly trainable dogs. They quickly pick up new commands and can learn a lot of tricks. They also excel at agility, tracking, and other dog sports. However, the overall training process is also dependent on the owner's commitment. Oftentimes, training takes more time and becomes harder only because of the owner. Using proper training techniques, poodles can be trained very easily. You can enroll your puppy in a kindergarten or obedience class. These classes will help you learn a lot in the training process. A puppy will learn the basic obedience commands and get a chance to socialize with other dogs. You can enroll your puppy when she is about 8 to 12 weeks old. Before enrolling, make sure your puppy has been vaccinated. These professional classes will help them become a confident and well-behaved dog. Socialization is very critical for training. Poorly socialized dogs often develop behavioral problems, while a properly socialized dog 
can better interact in different situations. Expose your puppy to different people, places, and animals. Take them to a dog park and other public places. Socialize your poodle from a young age. The prime time for socialization is two to four months of age. Positive reinforcement is the key to a successful training process. Dogs respond well to praise and treats. Reward them for good behaviors, and they will be encouraged to repeat them. Poodles are food-driven dogs, and you can use treats to lure them towards the desired actions. This reward-based training has proven to be very effective, and it speeds up the training process. Never scold or yell at your puppy. Punishing a dog is cruel, pointless, and counterproductive. Keep the training sessions short, focused, and entertaining for your poodle. Because of their high intelligence, poodles can get bored due to long, exhausting sessions. A focused session of 5 to 10 minutes is enough for them. Puppies have a shorter attention span than adult dogs. Practice only one command at a time, otherwise your dog might get confused. These are important aspects of the training process that are related to the owner and not the dog. Training is a gradual process, so you should not expect quick results. Puppies are like toddlers. They need time to understand your commands. With patience and consistency, you can train your poodle more easily.